Hi, in this slide we're going to follow through on the SKU power law by going up to the next level and looking at the supplier power law. Uh, normally, uh, what we can do is when we, when we buy from our suppliers, we don't typically buy one item, we buy a line. So maybe we buy 30, 50, 80, 500,000 items from a given supplier. So in the line item profit analytics capability, we want to be able to take all of the items from a given supplier and add up all their profits and losses to come up with a, an overall profit or loss for the supplier line. Um, and in this particular case, you can see that, that the, uh, the distributor has uh, about 250 active suppliers. You can see that the, the number one supplier generated about $100,000 in operating profit. Number two, three, four were all pretty profitable. Very steep curve here. So that uh, really kind of levels off at about here. Looks like about 50 customers or 20% of the customers are generating uh, that peak amount. I've called it the 15,350, but you know maybe we could call it the 10 or the 20. It'll vary from from distributor to distributor, uh, but it's pretty. It's 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 uh, it's definitely something to think about. Conversely, over here we can see that just a very few suppliers have all the items that are killing us and eating up a lot of our internal peak profits. Now, when we actually try to leverage. Uh, very profitable or unprofitable SKUs, we, we typically don't necessarily do it by ourselves. We might do it with a supplier. So if we sat down with our most profitable supplier and said, look what we found out, how can we sell a lot more of your most profitable items so we can both win? And because, again, we've never really put our heads together and focused and thought in that way and didn't have cross-reference deep dive analytics to see what customers were buying them. And we could even go look at substitutions and which customers are buying the substitutions and, you know, could we switch them over, et cetera. So there, there are plays that we can come up that, that, that work very well. And we'll, we'll look at those uh, in, in subsequent uh, uh, vi video clips. Kind of, uh, similarly, over here, we can go to the biggest losing supplier, look at their biggest losing items, do a right click and find out which customers are making those, the losing items. Sometimes it's lots of customers just buying you know, one tube of chapstick at a time. The margin percent is great, uh, but the pick in the warehouse is six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a pick. And you know, when you have a dollar's worth of stuff at eighty with eighty cents a margin, you're losing every item. But we can go, we can pack them six per pack, and people might you know complain, and then they realize, well, that's that's two months supply instead of a minute supply, and then I don't stock out of it, and that's not so bad. We may find out also that there are a few customers that are buying it by the teaspoon like crazy, and of course creating huge transactional costs on their side too, not to mention emergency orders and downtime for stocking out. So we can come up with, with precision solutions for, 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 for these guys and actually, you know, at least make them break even, sometimes even profitable. Uh, and then so we can shift this whole curve up and have it flatten out like this. And that's what we want to do. Thank you.